Google Criticism and Controversy Google's market dominance has led to prominent media coverage, including criticism of the company over issues such as aggressive tax avoidance, search neutrality, copyright, censorship of search results and content, and privacy. Other criticisms include alleged misuse and manipulation of search results, its use of others' intellectual property, concerns that its compilation of data may violate people's privacy, and the energy consumption of its servers, as well as concerns over traditional business issues such as monopoly, restraint of trade, anti-competitive practices, and patent infringement. Former Deputy Defense Secretary Robert O. Work in 2018 criticizes Google and its employees have stepped into a moral hazard for themselves as not continuing Pentagon's artificial intelligence project while helping the autocratic communist China's AI technology that could be used against the United States in a conflict. He described Google as hypocritical, given it has opened an AI center in China and anything that's going on in the AI center in China is going to the Chinese government and then will ultimately end up in the hands of the Chinese military. Work said, I didn't see any Google employee saying, HMM, maybe we shouldn't do that. Google's dealings with China is decrying as unpatriotic. Google adhered to the internet censorship policies of China, enforced by means of filters colloquially known as the Great Firewall of China. The Intercept reported in August 2018 that Google is developing for the People's Republic of China a censored version of its search engine, known as Dragonfly, that will blacklist websites and search terms about human rights democracy, religion, and peaceful protest. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff General Joseph Dunford also criticizes Google as it's inexplicable that it continue investing in autocratic communist China, who uses censorship technology to restrain freedoms and crack down people there and has long history of intellectual property and patent theft which hurts U.S. companies, while simultaneously not renewing further research and development collaborations with the Pentagon. He said I'm not sure the people at Google will enjoy a world order that is informed by the norms and standards of Russia or China. He urges Google work directly with the U.S. government instead of making controversial inroads into China. Senator Mark Warner, DBA, criticized Dragonfly evidence as China's success at recruiting. Western companies to their information control efforts while China exports cyber and censorship infrastructure to authoritarian regimes like Venezuela, Ethiopia, and Pakistan. Google's mission statement, from the outset, was to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful, and its unofficial slogan is Don't Be Evil. In October 2015, a related motto was adopted in the Alphabet Corporate Code of Conduct by the phrase do the right thing. The original motto was retained in the Code of Conduct of Google, now a subsidiary of Alphabet. Google's commitment to such robust idealism has been increasingly called into doubt due to a number of the firm's actions and behaviors which appear to contradict this. Following media reports about PRISM, NSA's massive electronic surveillance program, in June 2013, several technology companies were identified as participants, including Google. According to leaks of said program, Google joined the PRISM program in 2009. On August 8, 2017, Google fired employee James Damore after he distributed a memo throughout the company which argued that Google's ideological echo chamber and bias clouded their thinking about diversity and inclusion, and that it is also biological factors, not discrimination alone, that cause the average woman to be less interested than men in technical positions. Google CEO Sundar Pichai accused Damore in violating company policy by advancing harmful gender stereotypes in our workplace, and he was fired on the same day. New York Times columnist David Brooks argued Pichai had mishandled the case, and called for his resignation. Reportedly, Google's influenced New America think tank to expel their open markets research group after the group has criticized Google monopolistic power and supported the EU $2.7 billion fine of Google. Google has worked with the United States Department of Defense on drone software through the 2017 Project Maven that could be used to improve the accuracy of drone strikes. Thousands of Google employees, including senior engineers, have signed a letter urging Google CEO Sundar Pichai to end a controversial contract with the Pentagon. In response to the backlash, Google ultimately decided to not review their DoD contract, set to expire in 2019. Legal Controversies 